Hello and welcome. In this Sudoku Primer video, we're going to solve puzzle number 34, which is a medium puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 103 by Soap Opera Digest. And uh, while we solve it, I'm going to cover the, the corner sidewalk pattern. And I'm going to use a couple of other techniques that are a little bit more advanced than uh, medium, but those of you who are solving medium puzzles now um, can can learn more, a little bit more advanced uh, techniques so that you can move on to harder puzzles. So let's just get started. Um, first of all, we've got um, the corner sidewalk pattern right here and right here. This 8 and this 1 don't have to be there for this these to be the corner sidewalk pattern. Uh, all you need is four numbers grouped together like this. And with a corner sidewalk pattern, what you can do is you can uh, uh, see if you can find one or two numbers that are um, that will only go into like these two locations or these two locations. For example, we've got a 7 and a 4 here. Um, uh, a 4 can fit right here. I'm not going to fill that in yet. I'm, I want to cover a couple things first. We've got a 6 and a 2. Oops, I'm sorry. A 9 and a 6 right here in this row, which could potentially go here, but those are already in this in this box right here so but if you had two other numbers that aren't already in this box they could they would fit right here in these two and you'd have twins um, so uh, this corner sock sidewalk we don't have much to work with but let's look at this corner sidewalk right here we've got a seven and a five so that means potentially if we could have seven five twins here, but we've already got a seven uh, right here. But there's one thing we can do with this. Um, since that five, there's no five in this box yet. A five can fit here or here, so therefore we have ghost fives right here. We have a five here and ghost fives here. So therefore we know that that right there is a five. Now let's look at this column right here. We've got a three and a four in this column. And uh, there's no three or four in this box yet, so we know three and four fit here. So we have three, four twins right here. And we can actually fill them in because we've got a three right there. So that's how you use uh, corner sidewalk we could actually fill in, there's a 4 here, and we've got a 4 here and a 4 here already, and a 4 there, so we could put this 4 in also, right there. Okay. Alright, so that's that's how you use a corner sidewalk pattern in order to find numbers. And like I said, you can either find individual numbers or you can find um, two, two numbers by using that, that pattern. Let's look at uh, uh, this column right here. We can do column completion on this and see if we can find any numbers. Uh, let's see what numbers are missing. We've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3, 4, 6, and 7 are missing here. Okay, when you do column completion, um, if you're if you've got four numbers missing, like in this case, you can look for a row or a box um, that has three of those four numbers. Okay, so we're looking along here and we're looking for three, four, six, and seven. Uh, right here we've got a four, six, and seven in this row. So the, we've got three of the four numbers 
So the only one we don't have is a three. So we know that that's a three right there. Uh, and now since we've put in one of the four numbers, we only have three numbers left here. And what are those three numbers? They're four, six, and seven. The numbers you found in this row in order to place this three are the remaining numbers that fit here. Okay. So now we have three numbers left. And so if we can find uh, a box or a row with two of those three numbers in it, then we could fill in the next number. And right here, and what do we need? We need a four, six, and seven. Here we've got, in this box, we've got a six and a seven already. So we know that's a four because we've got two of the three remaining numbers. Okay, now we only need two numbers and those numbers are six and seven. So let's go down here and there's a seven. So we found one of those two numbers. So we know this is a six. And now we've only got one number left and it, we know it's a seven. Um, since there's only one number left, we know where it goes. Okay. So we, we just did uh, column completion on this column right here and uh, we were able to find all four of the numbers that we were missing. Let's look at this column right here and see if we can find there are only two numbers missing here. Six, eight. Six and eight are missing here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's an eight right there. So we know that's a six right there. And that's an eight. Now there's one other thing I want to point out. I found a set of triplets here and I wanted to show you those. Uh, in this middle box we have no numbers yet but we have a, a 6 and 9 here and a 6 and 9 here so we know that one of these three numbers is a 6 and one is a 9. Uh, so we're only missing one of the three numbers. If we found one more number here um, that would that we know would fit in here we would have all three of the numbers and sure enough we got a one here and a one here so we've got one six and nine here now to follow what we did here in this col uh, column we've got three numbers so if we can find a column here uh, see we're working with this row so if we can find a column that has two of those three numbers in it we could fill in one of the one of those three numbers and here we have a one and a six we need one, six, and nine, so we know that's a nine. And uh, now that we've filled the nine in, we have two numbers left, and they are one and six. So we need one and six here. If we can find another column with one of those two numbers, and there we've got a one, so we know that's a six. Now we've only got one number left of those triplets, and that's a one, so we know it fits there. And we've only got one number left in this row, so and that's a two. So we'll just fill that in. So those are a couple of things you can do with, uh, you know, row column and box completion uh, in order to uh, find numbers and uh, using the corner sidewalk. And then, and then we found some triplets right here. Let's <clears throat> let's look at this box right here. Let's see what we're missing. One, two, three, four, five. And if you remember, we found these fives right here earlier. So we need a two and a five here. If we have a two or a five in this, these one of these two rows, we could finish those, and we don't. So we can't solve those at this time. Uh, let's look over here at this box. We're missing one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> now this one's a little bit different. We've got two numbers missing. Um, these two numbers here, this two and five, were, were both in this box and in this column. So we had two ways to, to 
um, where you know these two these two cells are in two separate containers in this column and in this box. These two cells are only in this box. They straddle these two rows and these two columns. Okay, but what do we need? We need a three and an eight. And so since they're straddling both columns and both rows, we can look at both rows and both columns for threes or eights. We don't see any threes or eights there or there, so we can't solve those either. All right. Well, at this point, let's, let's just go through sections, and we'll see if we can find some numbers going through sections. We'll just go through all the numbers, one through nine. We've got a one here, and we've got ghost ones here, because that's the only place a one can fit in this box. So we've got a 1 there, a 1 there. So one of these is a 1, and there's a 1 there. And one of these is a 1, but we can't solve it yet. And then we've got a 1, 1, 1 already there. 1, 1, 1 here. We can't solve those either. Okay, let's do 2's. 2, 2, 1, 2. Oh, we have ghost twos here because because of this wall here we, we know that those can't be a two so one of these is a two and one of these is a two and we've got a two there all right so, so you've got a two 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 okay that's it for the twos let's go to threes three 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 can't solve those. Three, <coughs> three, three, three. Oh, there's a three, three, three. I don't think we can solve any of those. Let's do fours. Four, four, four. Can't solve those. Four, four, four. Four, four. Four. Can't solve the fours. Five. We've got a five here. Uh, we've got a five here. So one of these is a five. And we've got ghost fives here. We can't solve those fives yet. But therefore, <coughs> because of these fives, we know one of these is a five. And we got a five there. So we can solve that one. So finding ghost numbers is helpful. Okay, now we've got a five, 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 five in the middle section. Five, five, five there. We can't solve those. Okay, sixes. Six, six. One of these is a six, and there's a six right there. Okay, six, 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 six. One of these is a six, and therefore that's a six right there. And another thing we'll know we know about this right now too is we've got uh, two missing here and a six, so we got two six twins, and we just happen to have a six there, so we know that's a two, and that's a six. Let's look at this right here and see what what's left. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and eight, and we've got an eight there. And so we can fill those in. All right, so we were on sixes going through sections. So let's just look at those. Six, 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 six. Six. So we got all our sixes now. Sevens. We've got a seven here. Uh, so we know that's a seven. And we got one of these is a seven. Because we got a seven there and a seven there. We also know these. One of these is a four. So we have four seven twins right here. We got a seven there. So we know that's a four and that's a seven. And then we've only got one number left in this row. That's a nine, 
and then we can finish this box here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got a five there. And therefore we can solve this. There's a five there and a five there. So that's a five. Um, let's see, we're doing sections with seven. So we got seven, 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 seven. So we know that's a seven there. Seven, seven, seven. So we got all our sevens now. Let's look at eights. Eight, eight, eight. So that's an eight there. Eight. Eight. Okay, we can't do that. Eight there. Eight. One of these has to be an eight, because these can't, and there's an eight there, so that's an eight. And then one of these is an eight. We can't solve that one yet. Okay, and then nines. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, there's a nine there. So we can complete this box. We're missing a one. see what we're missing here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three and nine, we can't solve those yet. Okay, so we've got nine. Let's see, nine, 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 nine. One of these is a nine, because we've got a nine there. And there's a nine there, so we know this is a nine. Okay, now we're just missing one nine here. We've got a nine there, so fill that in. Let's see if we can finish this box here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three and four. There's a four there. Three, four. Okay. We've got a four here, four here, and four here. So we know that's a four. Okay, and we went through all the sections, one through nine. So let's just see what we can find now, just going through through things, because we're uh, we have things like this here. We just need one number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a five. Okay. So we've got a five and a five, so we know that's a five, and there's our two from our two five twins that we had there. We've got a two here and a two here, so one of these is a two, and there's a two there. Uh, let's finish this box here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and there's an eight, so we know that's a three, and that's an eight. And we had a three eight, three eight missing here too, so we know that's a three, and that's an eight. Okay, so we're almost done. We've only got a couple of, we've only got four numbers left. Uh, what do we have? Three and nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, three and nine. There's a nine. Put a three there and a nine there. And then we've got this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three and eight. There's an eight. So I'll put a three there and an eight there. Okay. So that is a medium puzzle in volume 103. Stay tuned for a, um, a hard and a diabolical puzzle coming soon from volume 103. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.